Oh, YouTube's still waiting. So I won't get started until YouTube kicks in, but I'll just keep talking. <laughs> you have to click it three times. So should I do another intro for YouTube? Okay, so ju I'm just going to repeat kind of what I said because YouTube has just joined in and we're going live on both YouTube and on Facebook. So um, for you that are watching on YouTube, if you don't know our Facebook channels, our Facebook channel is Jewel Tool. You can find our page and then um, where everyone posts is called our Jewel Tool community group and that is just a fun little happy adventure land. Um, Yes. Okay. So just real quick, I'm just saying what I'm doing. And then today, okay. So I, I gotta wait till people uh, load it. Chris is telling me I have to announce the giveaway. Okay, you guys. Today, yes, I'll do the giveaway. So today is the Friday giveaway. Friday giveaway. Friday. I gotta get my groove back. Hi. I gotta get back in. I was on a call, and my brain is business, and now. Let me get back to a happy, happy place. Jewel tool. Happy place. Jewel tool. Happy place. Okay, you guys. Yes, so today's giveaway is we are giving away something that's become quite popular with you guys. I'm going to give away our new mini magic buffing wheels. These, are, these come in a pack of three already mounted on the mantle, and you use them on your flex shaft. So... This is today's Friday giveaway. Friday giveaway. <laughs> They're like cute little barrettes. Look at this, Kristen. Kristen's gonna be like, you're like nuts. Oh, well, but there's three. Okay, this one gets two. There. So if you're just tuning in and wonder why is there things in my head, because you know I'm just Ani. <laughs> And today's giveaway are these mini magic buffs. So you guys, to enter to win, and basically, so Kristen can put your name in my little drawing um, towards the end of the show. Thank you, Claire, for singing my song. You're so adorable. I know I was looking at some of your Facebook posts while uh, I was away <laughs> busy, so that's why I could type. I could type, but I couldn't talk. Oh. Oh, you guys, the things I have to do. Um, so you guys, please hashtag I love my jewel tool. Can I just do that? That's good. Yeah. Let's just do I love my jewel tool. And then that way, Kristen will know you are there live and well and have an opportunity to win this because I'll just pull a drawing towards the end of the show. So you guys, <laughs> if you guys don't know what the drawing is, the drawing is a set of three of the mini new uh, magic buffs and they're all mounted on a mandrel as you can see don't worry you won't get these these are mine the ones that went in my hair <laughs> they're nice and warm however so you guys let's get that out of the way and so remember friday giveaway okay hashtag i love my jewels um you guys are so cute i see all these posts that you guys post on other groups and it's funny when you guys say, you know, Ani's doing these lives, and then everyone's like, I love my jewel tool. People post. It's the cutest thing. I love you all. Um, so today's show is a continuation of what we did in the last two days. So if you're watching a replay and have no clue what I'm talking about, go look at the last two days of see what we've been doing. So the first thing we did was we cleaned up this entire bezel inside and out so here we have a little bezel right there and we cleaned the back of the bezel we cleaned the solder i did the inside of the ring we cleaned the solder mark at the bottom of the shank and i provided you guys all my secrets in polishing and finishing because you know what sharing is caring i want you to know that that's right sharing is caring and i care for you I want you guys to have phenomenal finishes so uh, so you guys um uh, yes so lori union actually made this for me so it was very raw when it, w it when she i told her to leave it raw she has a jewel tool and she could have finished it real quick and i told her don't do it so we ground the entire 
surface uh, surrounding of the bezel and then we took it to a polish. So it wasn't just a polish, it was from um, solder, pickle, to polish. That's uh, everything in between, we did it all. So then yesterday we did, um, we finally polished, we did a test. So if you guys saw this post on my Instagram feed or anything else, so we actually glued uh, tri uh, the turquoise using epoxy and crazy glue. And we wanted to see what side polished better. I feel as though, so there's like a, there's like a little line in between right there. And so thi this side was the epoxy side and then this side was the crazy glue side. And so I gave my review on that. And again, just to recap you guys, so I posted this on a few groups yesterday, you guys, and the consensus was is how do you polish crazy glue? No one could, you know, have actually successful polishing crazy glue. Well, the jewel tool is not like, you know, your typical polishing machine, so we could polish crazy glue, you guys. So the reason why after looking at it, you guys, I looked at it with my loop, I realized why the crazy glue looked porous. So why the crazy glue looked porous is there were some empty pockets um, where I could have filled in with, let's say, um, you know, silver shavings, filings. I could have filled in the voids. Whereas the, um, the epoxy side was much more uniform. It filled in the empty gaps. And because I am using the jewel tool, yeah, because I'm using the jewel tool, I actually was polishing, believe it or not, the epoxy. Because you know how on the jewel tool I can polish, let me take this off, it's annoying. Um, you know how I can polish resin? So it's the same concept, you guys, of polishing. There's still some empty little um, like pockets, you guys. But that's real. like Yarrow's got a magnification on this. And honestly, to my eyes, yeah, it's uh, how many, seven times? 57 times, yeah, well, I, my eye doesn't see 57 times that deep. So you don't notice them, only when you like loop it. When I looped it, I could see it, but it's still, still looks pretty good. I love how some people said, I don't see the difference, it looks good. <laughs> that was my fa favorite comment. So you guys, I'm, go when I'm, I'm gonna fill this in today. And when I fill it in, I'm gonna do my very best at trying to fill everywhere without gaps and we are going to use the epoxy all right so i'm going to use the i'll tell you what epoxy i'll be using so let me put you back on and so let's get started so first of all you guys um i want to say hi to everybody i know you guys are watching just real quick just a hello and i just want to wish i spoke to mary mary bartels yesterday was literally talking to me through the camera while she was like almost big, they were gonna take her away to surgery. And yesterday she told me, she goes, Ani, just speaking to you gave me a sense of peace and like she had no fear and she said that I didn't have time to even hyperventilate. I just took your words and they wheeled, si they wheeled me off in the surgery. So I'm so grateful and I'm so happy everything was a success and I just continues continue to wish you a happy, and safe and speedy recovery, healthy. And whoever else is going anywhere, I wish you all the best of health, because that's very important. So you guys, who's here real quick? I just want to say hi there, because you guys were so patient on waiting for me. It's impossible, Kristen said. Okay, you know what, you guys, guess what? I know who you are. You know how much I love you. And I'm gonna say hello to you all, because you know, you can just send me a message and I go, hi! You know, I love you all, and I just want to get started. So let's get started. Um, but I love that you guys are all here. I, I kind of got a whisper of who's here, so I'm excited. So I, I know who's here <coughs> to all of you. Okay, so I'm going to take my little tushy and park myself here. And so I started actually yesterday. What, Yarrow? Huh? So this is the ring that we're going to use. I'm going to take you off and I'm going to, you know, I still don't have a, that tweezer. Do you have that tweezer? You do find that tweezer anywhere, Yaro? Oh, I'm going to do a few things, you guys. Okay, I want to show you guys first. So 
the wire that I put in, you guys, this is just round wire. And it's 16 gauge, yes. It's 16 gauge from Rio. Rio gave this to me. And um, I actually took my little flat hammer that I polished on the jewel tool. Look how shiny it is. And I'm just going to, I just hammered it a little, you guys. Okay. So, and then I'm going to show you guys how to polish this one. So just wait there. And then I have another piece of silver wire that I'm going to polish. So as you can see, it, you know, you can spend money on flat wire. But let's say you don't have flat wire and you wanted it. You can convert your round into flat. And I'm going to show you guys how to polish both of those. So give me a quick second. I'm going to snap this one off. Let me give it a little cut. So we have two pieces of wire. I'm going to polish those. Um, in the same token, while I'm sitting here, um, a lot of people ask you guys, like, how did you do your turquoise crush? You guys, this was a, a piece of stabilized turquoise that was given to me from a dealer in, tur in Tucson. And you guys all ask me who it was. I'm still trying to figure that out. As soon as I figure it out, I'm going to tell you. But I broke a piece off yesterday even more so and I crushed more turquoise now if you're gonna crush it when you're about to crush it put a little piece of put a little piece of cloth or something to avoid it from jumping up and down and prevent it from jumping up and down give it a few wax and then lightly take it off and look at what you get you get some delicious crushed turquoise um, and uh, yesterday you guys commented if you guys have any kind of like chip stones or things that you know just weren't speaking to you those are a perfect you know candidate for crushing it down or like a bead that you're not so crazy about or you have an extra bead off that strand this is a good way to repurpose it's really fun too okay so you guys um and also too there's like a piece of brass that i had i actually polished the corner and cut up some pieces of it. Um, I polished that already just to kind of save us some time. But I really want to show you guys how to polish the wire. So basically to polish the wire, the only thing you're going to need is you're going to need just the felt wheel with the polishing compound. Am I overhead, Yarrow? So felt wheel with the polishing compound. So let me go ahead. Oh, let me first tell you guys something new, a product that we have that we weren't going to introduce just yet. But yesterday, Myra said that she was polishing her pearls. So Myra was polishing a pearl, her and um, it flew into her vacuum suction. So hold on. Let me show you guys. Oh, you'll show it from that angle? OK, then I won't mess with this camera. So she it flew into the hole of the vacuum. You guys see that? Where am I? You're always going to just let me show you real quick some. What? Oh, I see it. Okay. So there. Okay. So while she was polishing something, it went whoop and it got sucked in. She goes, man, that sucker is, um, what's it called? Powerful. So we have been working at developing um, a little guard. Yeah. A little guard. Oh, sorry. A little guard. Because people have had this issue, you know, and it's just an issue with jewelers. And, and so this will prevent you from having to open up your vacuum and dig it out. So basically... Yeah, it's a little thing that'll make your life easier. And basically, you just take it and just put pop it in right here, like so. You see that? You see that? And so, if the why you're not you. Okay, the jewel tool logo would be perfectly flat. Okay, wh oh at the top, at the top, big deal. Okay, I'll flip it. Okay, Yarrow, have it your way. And so if you do this, so my vacuum is protruding out a little bit. But if you don't want to do that, and you don't need to, if you push it back, you guys, look, if you go like this, it'll hold inside the hole. So let's say you take off your vacuum, it'll actually still stay there. Right, Yarrow? Hold on. God, look, this is it's tight. So yeah, you see how it stayed in there? Yeah, and so like if you want to, you know, use this for something else or whatever, but other than that, it'll go back on. The, uh, the so it has many, many, you know, advantages. The one thing that, 
You just need to know when you turn it on. Let me turn something on. Let's say if I'm going to use it. Let's say something went flying. This will prevent it from going. And we also have one with smaller holes. But when you turn it on, it just makes a little extra whistling noise. It's not a huge difference, but you know me. Just not a whistle, just a like that, like a little, just a little, only because I'm so used to the noise of the vacuum that I can pick up on that little extra wind noise. It's like a little wind. Yeah. So, but one, one thing I like that it's removable. So like, let's say that, you know, you're going to be working on a lot of small things. You know, you can actually have this, let me pull this off. You can actually have this sitting in your drawer, you know, put it in your drawer and then whenever you need it, you can take it out and just pop it in. Yeah. The, well, I, I have, well, I have water in my drawer, but like, you know, put it or just even hide it underneath your base of your jewel tool. Look right here. Nice little storage hideaway. You know, can you see that? Sorry, I have a, like all sorts of. Yeah, so I'm just saying that that will be up on my website today. <coughs> hmm. So because a lot of people, you, uh, so Myra was pretty much the, <sighs> what is it? The camel that broke the monkey's back or the monkey that broke the camel's back? Or th you haven't heard that? The straw. Where'd the monkey come from? I have no idea. And uh, my daughter's yelling, <laughs> straw. <laughs> The straw that mo broke the uh, camel's back. We were actually wanting to introduce this, and we just never had the time, but we have them. So because what Myra mentioned, I thought it was a perfect opportunity. Can you, s can here, let's do an overhead cam so they can see it up close. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. And it's, yes, so Yara wants me to make sure I tell you. It's designed like an airplane wing where these are airfoil. like an airfoil where these are more uh, thinner here and they taper in the back so that as it <laughs> sucks. Yes. Yes. So all oh, very arrogant aerodynamic. So it's thicker in the front, thinner in the back. He compares it to a drop of water. Very aerodynamic. Thank you. Aerodynamic. What did I say? Aerodynamic. Whatever. Jalen. Jalen. <laughs> you know why? My brain is preoccupied with a lot of things. I apologize, you guys, in advance. How about that? You know when you have, there's things going back there and you're trying to focus and... <sighs> okay, so the vacuums will be back. So we'll, I'll start allowing orders towards the end of next week because our just so you know you guys our vacuum manufacturer who does it custom for us they're a big jewelry vacuum manufacturer and they do a special one just for me custom um i have been driving him nuts because they have been closed or they've been like really like very thin thin staff because of this covid situation and they're trying to get all their supplies from their suppliers that were also closed during the COVID. So it's like domino effect here. And he's doing everything. So I just spoke to him. I spoke to him yesterday too. I spoke to him today again. And I confirmed with him. He says he's putting me priority. He has everything in and is going to be building them next week and ship them out to me. So I will have them available towards the end of next week. So um, you know what? I might do something like this uh, because I know a lot of people want to uh, get on board with that free shipping because it's, it's a good deal because you pay a lot of shipping for that, you know, vacuum. So I would maybe start allowing orders to go through, but you just have to know that you're just going to have to wait just a little bit until they come into stock. So there you go. Oh, Margaret asked about the clear hoods. Okay, about to come back in stock. 
Yeah, we're really limited on the clear hoods. So this is what we're trying to figure out. So we might, we, we actually uh, do uh, a program where, are we gonna do that? We're gonna have to do that, yeah. So just so you know, we're talking about the clear hoods. Just real quick, you guys. So the clear hood cover, as you can see here, okay, the clear hood cover, um, you need to have like two holes drilled into it. Yara, go ahead and do that. I can do this. So do you guys see this? How there's two screws right there and it's got to be hinged and bolted and whatnot and they have to be perfectly aligned for this to be perfectly aligned as well to sit flat. So um, I can't just send you guys the visor. It's not what we would, not everyone is as detailed and crazy as we are to have everything perfect. So what we're going to start doing on our website is we're going to provide a shipping label and ask you to shi send in your hood. We will install the visor because we have plenty of those in stock and we will ship back your visor uh, fully assembled. That's what we're going to do. We're going to start, we're going to actually do that this weekend, right Yarrow? On the hood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen. You'll you automatically get a label, um, and then if you have an issue with if you have an issue with shipping, you can't get to the post office or the UPS store. All you do is simply tell us, and we will schedule someone to pick it up with the label. We have all ways of helping you. Like if you have no printer, don't worry. I'll have UPS guy come to your door, ding dong and give you a, have the label ready, take your box, slap it on, and go away. If you can put it in a box, slap on the label, and leave it for your postman, we can do that too. Yes, yes, so the replacement visors will be up. It's just, I was scared, yes, so Nicole Ritchie asked if you can buy a replacement visor down the road, yes. I just didn't want to put the replacement visors up because then people can think that they can install it on their own and then I'll be like, mm, cricket. Yeah, so that's that. <sighs> Let's get back to polishing that wire, shall we? Um, that was a lot. But it's very informative stuff, you guys. And don't forget, you guys, we have the giveaway of the magic, um, the three set of three magic buffs you guys that's already pre-mounted on the manual ready set go so hashtag i love my jewel tool to enter into the drawing that i'll be doing towards the end of the show okay so let's get started why is my thumb always missing i think i put the wrong one on the wrong one yeah i swear i feel like um someone is coming at night and stealing my thumb ones um <laughs> <laughs> the little <laughs> the little fairy. Okay, so I'm using the felt wheel. Here, let's start over. I will be using the felt wheel with my jewel tool compound to polish the wire that we made flat. Right here, you guys. You guys see that? So I can you can use your hand. You can use anything to support yourself. You can use a piece of leather, whatever your heart desires to hold it stable and polish it nice and flat. Do you know what I mean, guys? There. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to turn the vacuum on, give myself a good amount of compound. And here, I'll, I'll show you with the leather and without the leather. So this is without the leather. Ready? Just hold it there. So basically, my finger is acting as the leather. So as you can see, I really didn't even do a good job at hammering it. It's like a little on the lumpy, bumpy side. But if you hold it there enough, it'll smooth it down beautifully. There you go. You guys see that? You see that, Yarrow? Mm -hmm. There. There's your flat wire. There. And let's flip it around and do the other side. Yeah, I totally didn't even pay attention to how perfect I flattened it, you guys. I just whacked it. So if you pay more attention, yours will come out better and much more flatter. Oh, this one was better. This must have been the other side where I hit the, there you go. 
You guys see that? Yeah, let me do that so you guys can see. Yeah, and then you can do hit the sides. Get the sides. So if the sides are here, if the sides are a little lumpy bumpy, it's a good idea to like for the silver to just grab like a very fine scratch eraser. If you want a dead flat, then use like your medium trizac. But I think this should be fine for what we're doing. And this is a way to make it super perfectly flat. See, so I didn't have to use my flex shaft. Oh, let it focus, Yaro saying. Hold on. But my, hold on, let me clean my compound off there. See, okay, so let's do the other side. Right, hold on, work with me, people. So do you guys see how lumpy it is? See, it's lumpy and bumpy. See that? Okay, so look, you just hold it right here. <laughs> and just... And there we go, look at that. It's good? You can even do the tip, no hand filing here, boys and girls, and that's that. So, and then you can go back to the, wait, maybe I have to do that for this one too. Hold on. Yeah, I'll do it to the silver. Oh, whatever, I'll do it after. Felt. Don't forget to apply compound. And then just give it a nice quick polish. You see that? Is that coming up? Yeah? Okay, good. Wire polishing on the jewel tool. Hold on. There we go. Let's just go ahead and clean it up because I got all my dirty fingers on it. There we go. And then here too. There you go, done. Okay, done so, done so. There you go. So now we can do the copper one. You guys see that? So if I want to smooth the lumps off of that, this one's not as lumpy for some reason. Oh my God, Becky, you're so cute. How funny, Becky. I was just looking at your Instagram this morning. I love the little wow of, of the rock. That was a cute emoji. Yaro just showed me what you posted. That is so cute. So there. Oh, here, let me show you the proper way. Let's say you wanted to not use your finger and you want to use like leather. Here, you can do it like this. Look, just hold it there and just, just use the leather to polish. See, there you go. You don't have to get flat wire oh just make sure you put enough compound there you go and there you go you guys see that okay and then the tip that's pinched I could have done it with the scratch eraser, but just a quick little, don't push it too hard, but if you hold it there long enough, guess what your felt will do? It'll smooth that sucker down. Yep, there you go. Look at that tip. Hold on, let it focus. Hold on. It's not focusing, Yaro. Yeah, it's too close. Oh, the disc is spinning here. It's true. There. It wants to focus. I just wanted to show the tip. Okay, there you go. So it's, it's not pinched anymore. So give it a nice little clean. We don't want compound on it when I glue it. That's all we need is for it to not stick. So other than that, look, it's shiny, shiny. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! You like that, Yaro? I impressed Yaro. That's hard to do, you guys. Him and Kristen, man, I tell ya. And my kids. Jeez, talk about critics. Kristen says it makes you better. Okay. <laughs> I need to get better, you guys. I'm working. So that's the silver. Where am I? I 
Oh, yeah, everyone loves the picture of me and my dad on Father's Day. Thank you so much. That's a funny little, uh, I got that a lot, ironically. Everyone keeps commenting about my picture with my dad. I'll be posting it, but I, uh, for my Father's Day special, I have a picture with me and my dad on this exact bench. So I was doing a photo shoot that day uh, just to get some pictures, um, you know, for, uh, just content pictures. And my dad happened to just come into the shop that day, and my photographer said, how about let's get some shots with you and your dad? And I'm like, well, that's perfect. And my dad had his glasses with them because every jeweler carries their glasses with them, right? So long story short, so that's how that picture was taken. That was, yeah, you can put the picture on the screen. Okay, so we're going to go, we're going to start, we're going to go in. Wish me luck. We're going to go in and... Let me get the rid of this water, and we're going to um, start filling the sucker. So before I start filling, I'm going to put you back in a little bit. I have the stuff, and I want to. I want to score the inside. Yaro, can you see that? The inside of the bezel, the J. So I want to. Let me take my hammer off. Let me put my flex shaft on. So I'm going to use my diamond drilling bits because, oh, do you guys see how well it held this sucker? We were grinding this down, and I scored the inside of this before working. So I'm going to grab my... Sure, put it up. Yeah, put my dad's picture up. So I'm going to grab... Oh, yeah, that's my dad. Look, look, you guys, I'm not lying. Look at the tongue here, you guys. Look at this nasty tongue. It was literally here. This is the same tongue. <laughs> same exact bench on that picture. So there you go. Um, what is it going to say? Okay, so I'm going to grab out of my 30-piece diamond drilling bits, you guys. I'm going to grab. <laughs> there's still the popsicle stick of the... <laughs> um, epoxy we did on the other day. So I'm going to grab the smaller uh, of the bits, the two millimeter size, because what I want to do is I want to get into the little J area. I want to get into all the corners and just kind of rough it all up. Oh yeah, I can get in there too. Eh, it's really narrow here. I don't know if I even have a thinner burr for that. We'll see. Let's just start. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. Because that's what a jeweler does. <laughs> we figure it out as we go, boys and girls. That's the fun. Okay, there we go. Just go ahead and turn that on. And let's turn this back. Okay, so back up Yara a little real quick. I just want to say something, you guys, really quick. Yesterday I made really, I, I was very clear on safety, cleaning your buff, with a hand file, where's my hand file? Oh God, I lost it already. Here, this hand file, you know, I those things, those, when something is dangerous, I'm the first person to red, oh, wave the red flag, okay? So don't think that just because I'm not wearing like a hazmat suit and, and all sorts of shields that I don't consider safety. Please, I just want you guys to know this. I have been doing this for pretty much all my life. So when I have a flex shaft in my hand, you have to know something that clicks into my head. This is now a different Ani that you see. This is the Ani that is conscious of what she has in her hair and there's movements that, I mean, in her hand, sorry, flex shaft in my hand, and I'm conscious of my movements. So you guys, even though you tie your hair back and whatnot, you know, and you're wearing your jewelry or you're wearing clothes, you have to be conscious of what you're doing. So I'm holding this, but if you guys see, there is a distance between me and the flex shaft. Do you understand? So you don't ever like talk on the phone or talk with your hands when this is spinning. I, it's just a no-no. This is could grab and yank and all sorts of bad things can happen. So if you notice, I'm always going like this. And if I'm going to lean over, okay, this is always further away from me when I lean over. And one other thing, too, you've never, ever seen me ever lean over a spinning jewel tool. 
This is just not in my, um, how I'm made up. It's just impossible. So please, so we have safety features built in where the machine will turn off immediately if it feels a tug. That's why when you push too hard, when you buff, the machine will go, eh, uh, what's happening here? I need to stop. So just so you know, we do, uh, so safety is very important for me and a lot of my manufacturers that I supply the jewel tool to. That's why James Avery has this pretty much on every single bench in their facility in Texas because it is, it's a safety machine and it's just lovely to work with on the bench. They have it on a bench, not in the polishing room, on every bench, over 250 of them. Fun fact. So, I, so like, just so you know, uh, you'll see me go like this every so often, only just to get on my face, but there's a distance. There's a good, like, 12 inches, so nothing's going to happen to me at 12 inches, but I'm experienced, and those who are not experienced don't know this, and they'll talk with this thing in their hair, like, you know what I mean? You d uh, No. I would get hit. I would get, like, I would like be expelled from the workshop if I ever pulled any of those stunts. So it's just embedded in me. I don't know how to explain it, you guys. So just so you know. So look, you see how I lean over? Immediately, like my hand moves forward. I don't know how to explain to you. It's just, it's, yeah, see, it comes, yeah, it comes first nature to me, not second nature. So just need to be, let you guys know that because people are always saying, oh, she doesn't tie her hair back. Tie your hair back. Wear safety goggles. Do all of that. Muscle memory, that's what it is, Bonnie. The muscle memory is, it's so done like unconsciously, I can't explain it. So you should always be mindful of that. So practice good safety skills. In the event that, you know, you were doing something in a hurry and you didn't put the safety goggles on. You were doing something in a hurry and you didn't tie your hair back. You know what I mean? Or you were wearing loose clothes with those hanging bracelets that you guys make or those necklaces. Keep a distance, distance, like social distancing, distance, and be mindful where your hand is at all times. My hand never left this darn little bench pin area. Never did, never will, just, uh, it's in me. It's like uh, born and bred. So let's continue to do what I said. So I'm gonna take this ball burr, and all I'm doing is just grinding away and creating like, I'm scoring the inside because I, I, uh, it's rough already, but I still want even more rough. So I'm, uh, so as you can see, I scored it. I'm gonna actually take off some of the silver. Maybe I'll use that for my filings. So I'll do the inside of the J, so give it a nice little, so you want it to be rough so that the glue sticks. Do you know what I mean? So that's that. So I'm just scoring it. Just kind of hold it there, score it a little. Not too much, you don't want to be drilling through. But it's enough, I don't want to change that shape. And there we go. And so you see how, wa watch, did you guys see that? You didn't see that? Okay, watch that. Okay, so right there. What are you doing, Yara? Where am I? So here, take a look at what I did. I scored it. You guys see that? Even inside the little J. So that's pretty much enough. You just want an area where it's rough enough for the glue to stick. You can even do inside like the bezel area. I didn't think of that, but I don't want to change any of the shape. But for the most part, there we go. Yeah, Yara was just trying to set up a better angle. Okay, there. So look, you guys, when I'm going to reach over, do you see how like my hand goes with me? The hand doesn't stay here. The hand moves. You always have to keep a safe distance. I don't care even if your hair is tied back or if you're wearing anything. You just got to remember this. This is important muscle memory. Away. It's kind of like, you know when you use like a kitchen knife, you just have certain rules. Don't wave it around. You know to keep it stable. You know to keep a distance, how to hold it. It's that kind of same yeah, you don't run with it, you don't talk with it, you know, you just don't, you just don't. I don't know how to explain it. So anyways, so I am going to start filling this sucker. So let me go ahead and get some kind of idea. Let's put you right here. Yara, you never found my little tweezers for my pincher? Can you try to kind of glance over to see if you can find it anywhere? Just stay here. 
Yeah, give me a nice angle. So I'm going to snippy poo all of this stuff. I'm going to snip. Can I do it here? Is that better? So I'm going to snip the copper that we flattened and polished and the silver, you guys. You see that? So, yeah. So I'm going to put all sorts of colors in here. I love the way the, uh, the metal bounces off the light when we polished it. So I, I can't do too many big chunks because I feel like there we go. There we go. Boy, these cut so good after we sharpen them. Ooh la la. So I'm just giving them a little snippy poo. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, I don't know about that one, Ani. Got a little crazy there. Some of these are a little too big. Some of these are small. I don't know. I really, this is kind of like when you just do it, you're like winging it. Because you're like, I don't know if that's going to work. And you're like, I hope it works. So, yes, yeah, so Kristen wants to me to remind you to, oh, which side is what? This side. Look how pretty that polish. To hashtag I love my jewel tool to enter in the drawing to win the mini um, mini magic box. Mm -hmm. So this is the silver one. So let me keep them separate. Well, that's really big. What am I doing? <gasps> so try not to do too big pieces because my bezel is kind of small. Yes. Bless your heart. Yarrow, can you pinch it in there? Oh, thank you, Yarrow. Even though I'm not soldering, but that what makes a excellent like third hand. I miss soldering. I might just put up, make up a solder station and show you guys how I solder. Ooh, I used to be a good solder. Ooh, just to watch that solder flow, you guys, was like everything. Uh, yeah, just bend it. Mm -hmm. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's fine. It's okay. I'll adjust it, my love. I'll adjust. Give it to me. Just, yeah, just put, put in the slot. Okay, so right here, you guys, I cut up some pieces of the copper. I cut up some pieces of the, of the silver. And then I have a good amount of turquoise. So I'm going to put that all here on my gorgeous bench. You guys see it? Clearly, we didn't care about... I, you know what's funny, you guys? <laughs> I watch, like, all you guys when you guys solder and stuff, and you guys have all these awesome solder stations and mats to not burn things, and I'm like, wow. Jewelers at the bench, like in factories and, you know, shops, they don't ever think of that. So I think that's like so cool to keep everything from burning because as you can see this thing has been torched a few times and you know we would just or you know we take something and put it here to cool you know on the thing and sometimes it would fall and go tsh, you know or you just grab something and you put it at super hot and it burned it's just like over years of time that this is what happened so what I'm gonna do you guys is I have no clue <laughs> I'm gonna start loading in pieces of turquoise however on our last little thing i did like the epoxy side but then if you look at the epoxy side it had bigger chunks of turquoise so i do like the chunkier look you guys versus the really crushed look so depending on the look you're going for is how to determine how much to crush you know what i mean does that make sense you guys how yeah, how so how fine of a turquoise you want to crush? Do you want to do, you know, chunky monkey ones? Do you want to do, check my mic? How's it, how's that? Okay, that's better. So it there's really no rule, basically. But I would say, you know, just for filling purposes from the last time, I would fill it with a bunch of little ones, let me get, some, and then make sure there's no other weird particles in it. I tried to make sure this was nice and clean. So what I'm going to do is, let me put something underneath, hold on. Let me put this underneath to catch, as you can see, I really don't have much here. So I'm just gonna fill it. 
kind of like let the little ones find a home because this has like a little inlay already and so I kind of want it to find a little home and just take off some of the bigger chunks and so this is kind of like what I did so far Yaro can you see that you can okay so there's like still a little bit of a corner that I feel like get away the yeah I'm trying to tap it into place but the big ones seem to want to rule so there you go and God knows what is going to happen when we put the epoxy but it's kind of fun you guys it's it's kind of like a high-end craft project <laughs> you know you're playing with expensive materials and it's like a little crap but jewelry in general is like a expensive craft project to begin with so I just want to make sure I fill I don't want any gaps I learned my lesson from the last time um, gaps are no fun jewel tool will polish the glue we've established this hands down no questions asked no debate that is fact jewel tool will so what I'm trying to do you guys right now is I'm taking the little itty bits and filling it in that area at the tip of the J I know a lot of people are gonna say fill it with filing dust I don't know my filing dust is it's kind of ugly no, Natalie, honestly, you didn't miss much. Natalie, all I'm doing is filling in. So we scored the inside of the bezel. Basically, I took my um, diamond burr out of my 30-piece set right here, and I scored the inside, and I roughed up the inside of the bezel so that the glue and everything sticks beautifully. So I think that's good, you guys. And then now I'm going to start. So some of this will fall away, which is fine. See, all the, some of the big ones are going to fall, which is fine because I can place those back on. It's the little ones I kind of wanted them to like nestle into a little nook and cranny. Yeah, you guys with me? So now, you guys, I'm going to take all my little flakes, pop them in. I have no idea. Maybe I should cut some of those a little smaller and just... The metal pieces are just going to go with the turquoise, Myra. I'm just going to like randomly place them in. I want to put some copper, but uh, from again, learning my lesson, I want to kind of put them in a little bit. So, you know, you guys, the to do resin, like, and if you wanted to do like a dome of resin, you could easily do this on the jewel tool. Um, that is one project I want to do with you guys, the resin. So hang in there, you guys. The resin is going to be uh, uh, the next one. I, c I, I, I will show you guys how to polish the resin. So I'm kind of feeding in some of those copper pieces, you guys. I kind of want to put them in deeper because when I put them in last minute, last time, the glue started to dry and then you saw what happened they were like flying away so i will go ahead and put some of these in wait that one kind of went a little too deep so you there's there is a little bit of you know planning but not too much because you know what it's going to do whatever it wants to do at the end of the day I think I want to, you know, some of the crevices, you guys, I kind of want to fill it in with like a thin piece of metal. Some of the thinner pieces of metal that I cut. I got that idea from Nicole Ritchie. Nicole Ritchie, remember you told me some of the gold flakes? Um, I, I didn't have gold flakes, but I do have like thinner sheets of brass. And I'm going to like stick those in on the really tough little areas. So let's go ahead and fill this sucker let's get started I think I'm an I, I've had enough yeah so hold on y'all I'll give you a green light in about a minute let me just yeah hold on come come here I was looking for you that day we've met we've come we've met again hi how are you I miss my third hand um oh god this was my best friend when I was soldering um I'm gonna cut my my copper apparently i i'm a chunky kind of girl and i cut it a little too big 
and these areas are quite narrow. I mean, you guys can get so creative on your inlays. People were going like gaga over my inlays. So if you guys want to like spruce it up a bit, and you guys saw Nicole Richie's inlay, which is pretty, pretty, <laughs> like I said, some of the stuff I did makes me look like a kindergartner compared to Nicole Richie, but she has, she's done it really good. So honestly, the more you do it, the better you get at it because you learn from your, m you know, you know the old adage, you learn from your mistakes. Okay, so. Yeah, she used the brass, uh-huh. I just didn't think much last time. I don't know. What was I had a lot going on that day. I was being rushed. All sorts of things were happening, guys. So yeah, so I'm putting three colors because I had them. You know, you guys, when it comes to Ani, you guys have to know one thing. More is more. <laughs> more is more better. <laughs> more is more better. <laughs> I am just a more kind of a person. Um, so you, you, you can, you can, this could be, it's a joke. Oh, okay. More is, I just, I'm just more. You guys saw me on my birthday. I was wearing a freaking crown on my head. It's much, yeah, <laughs> it's funner. <laughs> it's more fun. Um, listen, we don't judge around here at Jewel Tool. We, we just. I love, I love Nicole. She's like, I don't have any gold, extra gold in this household. Okay, that's not sticking in this corner. So I don't know how well it's going to do with the glue. Anyways, you guys. So I kind of like, honestly, you guys, with the crap, with the uh, <laughs> copper background, for some reason, the copper and the turquoise, they marry beautifully. Look, look. Wow, look at that zoom Yarrow's got. Should I tilt it? No, I'm not tilting this forward. Oh, hell no. No, I'm not touching this. Oh, no, no. Set up another angle. So I'm just kind of trying to get these lodged in. That's what I'm doing before the, what do you call it? Before the epoxy goes in. I Because I don't want them flaking off like we had that problem with these. I had a lot of fly-by-nights. They were flying away. They were like, whoop, there it goes. There goes another one. There goes another one. Because I don't know how well, how fast I can put the epoxy, you know? Okay, I'm going to fill the rest later. This is fine. It is what it is, you guys. We'll just... One guy on Lapidary, guy or girl, I got I can't remember, said uh, in Lapidary, said, oh, there's some empty areas. You might have, you know, gone back and filled it again. And I'm like, there, yeah, okay, I go. But the whole idea is we were just trying to see which one was better the objective w our, our the game was <laughs> the game here was to see which one worked better the epoxy or the super glue and honestly you guys if you don't have time for epoxy here i'm going to give you a tip this is what here do you know one thing that i learned let me tell you guys something one thing that i learned and i'm going to do it here when remember how this is very important and i'm so glad i remembered because sometimes i wonder about myself remember how there's there was like a little bit of like like a divider in between here do you guys remember that so it looked like this hold on hold it there okay hold on i'll stand there so look remember this stop that okay so let me just show you guys this so it looked like this yarrow can you show this it had a divider in between. Wonderful. So it had a divider. So the divider was a little bit kind of, it wasn't straight. It had like a little dip. So I think when I was doing this, you guys, you guys see how it's higher at the edges than it was in the center? I feel as though when I put the super glue in this, I feel like it kind of, it kind of stuck to the base of the other side. And when I went to put the epoxy, I just like kind of filled the epoxy on top and held the turquoise together. Are you guys with me? So you know what I would suggest? 
I would suggest, and I'm going to do it now. Yar, do you still have the super glue here? Uh, 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 yeah, I have my super glue. Okay, so I'm going to put super glue, a very light layer of super glue. Where, what are you doing, Yaro? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm going to put a little light super glue just to hold the, all the tiny little particles out uh, down, kind of like to secure the foundation. Because a lot of people don't put their turquoise in first and plan it out because you can't. You have to kind of place the turquoise and stuff on the epoxy. But with the super glue, it kind of seeped in to the whole bottom and I want the bottom to hold all the little and then I'll layer it with epoxy. Does that sound like a plan, Yaro? So you guys with me? So I'm gonna put the super glue first as kind of like a foundation to hold everything down because this, man, they, they, you'd have to like hammer this sucker out to get it out because I was like, God, you know, I just kind of put the epoxy just on the top, like how is it holding everything underneath? And then I realized that the super glue kind of seeped underneath, like the foundation of the bezel, and it held everything. And then, because you're not going to be polishing or touching the super glue because it's at the base, and I'll just be filling the top and filling all those little holes with the uh, epoxy. So technically, I'm going to use both again today. See, you learn something as you go. And no one has ever said this. No one has ever said, do super glue first and then do epoxy. But, but I like to plan things. I need to see how it's going to look arranged. I can't just dump everything and have five minutes to figure it out. Like, already I was rushed doing this. So I like to plan. Oh, I love that, Bonnie. Bonnie said, more is more and less is a bore. I who? I who said that? Iris. Oh, Iris. Iris, the lady. Have you watched her Netflix documentary? We all know Iris. Alida, don't we know Iris? Yeah, Iris, the lady with the big glasses. The lady with the big glasses. Huh? Hold on. Kristen's asking me. What do you need? Oh, the box for the names. Oh, oh, oh. Do you need a scissor? Okay. I have sharp. I have the pinking shears right here. You want a pinking shear? No? Okay. It'll make them pretty. Okay. So, you guys, I think I'm set, ready to go. Um, so, that's what I'm going to do. So, now that I told myself that, I'm going to put more gold. Because <laughs> I'm going to shove it in there. Margaret always says something funny. A cup of leftover bechamel sauce. <gasps> well, bechamel sauce could just be m gold. My God, how much butter is in bechamel sauce? Oh my God, my favorite sauce. If you don't have gold leftover. Yes, bechamel sauce is the next best thing. Okay. Yes, Iris Apple. Yes, Iris Apple. Yes. Oh, and she, oh, that's why I love her. Yes, she was like the poster child for more is more and less is a bore. It's true. If you're going to do it, just do it. Stand out. Why are you going to hide? You know, your pieces, especially if you do, do pieces. Yeah, I know a lot of people like simple stuff, but you can do simple with a little je ne sais quoi with a little flair yeah is she she's 98 years old yeah she's pretty awesome okay so god i'm just really fighting with these uh these copper ones they're going in too deep so what i'm going to do is i'm going to base i'm going to put a little base of, of turquoise so that my copper is raised a little higher because i realized when i was grinding you guys my um what yara Yes, Yaro's confused. Yes, I'm going to put the super glue um, first just so it kind of seeps through because it's so thin. It just like w melted all the way through and kind of held everything together. It's really nice. 
Yeah, but I don't want to grind everything together. I like Chunky Monkey Yarrow. Okay, so bear with me, you guys. This is like a science here. Ah, I got into that corner. I don't know. Can you guys see that corner that I was working on? This little corner. Oh, crap, I touched it. Right here. This little corner that I was working on. Right here. That little sucker right there. Yeah, I, f I found something that fit in there. And why do I have like, glue on this? Is that... What have I done? Ugh, this story of my life. I used to always do this with my tweezers, get crap on them. It's okay, I can clean it with my jewel tool. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so I think I'm good. Oh, I know. I wanted to put a little piece of copper here and kind of wedge it in there. Oh, that's a good one, Heidi. Heidi, that's a good idea. Heidi said, stand them on the edge. Hold on. I got one here. I'm going to put it on the edge. Okay, hold on. Let me stand it on the edge. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to put one right here. God bless it. They don't want to, like, listen to me. Listen to me. Heidi says you have to go on the edge. Yeah. Because when you grind them, you want them to pop. When that shine happens, so I'm strategically putting it. Screw the organic look. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. Oh, that's better. Oh, really? Yeah. So the jewel tool for uh, while I'm talking is while I'm working, the jewel tool, I'm going to sit you up along the side because Heidi says you have to sit there. Um, the jewel tool is in every aviation maintenance shop for the U.S. military, the Army. Did you guys know that? Fun fact. True story. Um, and so let's say that the military is going to open up a, a new place. They have to have, like, like they have to open up a new aviation maintenance shop. A and they have a set of tools that have to, uh, that are required to go in there. The jewel tool, guess what, is one of those tools. They get a fancy kit too. Okay, I tried sitting it up, Heidi. It's the best I can do. The rest is going to be just um, turquoise, and I'm pretty much done. That's beautiful, Annie. Look at the work I do. Don't don't follow everything I do here, you guys. Follow what I do when I polish. I don't know about this. Yes, copper and turquoise have a beautiful... Yes, the copper and the turquoise, I dig the copper and the turquoise. Super complementary colors. So I'm going to fill a little bit more turquoise here because I feel like I, I put too much copper. <laughs> so this one's going to go on its side because Heidi said to stick it on its side. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go in for the for the glue now. I think I'm done. Enough playing around. My dad would yell at me by now. He'd be like, okay, Ani, that's enough. And I'd be, fine, Dad. Fine. Fine. Not as perfect as I want it, but it'll have to do because I would sit there for hours, you guys. You don't understand. I was like, L, Mrs. Perfectionist, you don't even know. You have no idea. Sometimes I wondered if I had a problem. There you go. Okay, so I'm going to take some, of mo some more of this powder and hopefully shake it into you know what Yarrow there's enough space it'll happen <laughs> okay so there I actually I need some more here all right so give me the crazy glue and then I will uh, begin the I will begin the um, epoxy so hopefully this will look good, guys. I'm going to leave a lot of extra on. Let me kind of hit some off. Is that good? Hold on. Okay, let's go. Give me the crazy glue. As I do the crazy glue, mix the epoxy. You guys, you don't understand. I'm going to add more 
turquoise on it when the epoxy goes in because that's what I did last time so whatever flakes off let it flake off I don't care but for the most part I'm gonna actually grind some more oh so Yara's getting the glue hold on let me go ahead and put this over and whack it some more. I want some really thin little suckers. So while he does that, I'm going to whack some more. We need some powder. You like that, Yarrow? Is this more powder? Oh, this is like, like powder. Okay, sorry, I I can't. You're gonna have to wait for a second and then see. There you go. That's good. I still didn't find my diamond scooper. Gotta call someone and get that. God, I had so many of that of those. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in on my powder. It's so cute. One lady's like, "Where do I buy the crushed turquoise?" I'm like, "You gotta crush it yourself." I don't think anyone sells it, do they? H have you guys heard of anyone that sells it? I have a lot of turquoise. I'll crush it for her. Okay, so... Yes. Yes, it'll be a surprise. So, I'm. this is on standby, the really fine powder. That's going to go, like, over everything when I'm ready to put the... What's it called? When I'm ready to put the... What do you call it? When I'm ready to put the epoxy. Here, I just finish your sentence. Shut up. I'm trying. Oh, it was? <gasps> it was. I know. Look at me. I'm so bad. I'm just like hammering away. have no idea that things are flying out of my ring. You know what? I'm going to have to grind pretty flush to see the J. In hindsight, that's a very good question, Margaret. Let me fix my ear. Marge. Marge. Hey, Marge Colum. Uh, Marge asked a question, which is really good. She asked, how far will I have to grind to see the J silver uh, letter? Now, I'm going to have to go pretty flush because it is flush with the bezel. Um, so going to be like a Cracker Jack box when we grind. But I just wanted to make sure, you see there's still some emptiness right here. So that's why I have that powder as standby. So on standby to fill it with the, um, with the, I can even do some now. Hold on, let's see. This here, if you got that look right there, Yara, let me go ahead and You know what, Yarrow, it's a process, man. When I would do things with, when it came to jewelry, it's like, it's not like an overnight thing. There was times where it would take, you know, a few days to construct something by hand and your pieces. It just doesn't happen, Yarrow. This is fabrication. So I'm going to grind flush. So like, let's say that I didn't have the J in sight. I could have created a dome effect like I did with this one. They see how it's a little domed? It's not completely flush with the bezel. See how it has like a little, yeah, zoom, wait, I'll wait. Yeah, so you guys see how there's like a little bit of a dome. It's not completely flush with the bezel. And I kind of wanted that look. I didn't want it to be dead flat. But this one, in my humble opinion, is going to be flat. The only time that this will have more of a dome look and I'm really considering doing this is if I grind the um, the edges of the bezel to kind of taper a little like this after I so I'm pretty much going to have to grind this flat to expose the J so we're gonna go dead flat tomorrow on Monday dead dead flat and we're gonna hope for the best then once I go dead flat if I wanted to create a little bit of a 
like a domed effect because remember whenever you create something with a little domed effect it really catches the light beautifully oh awesome thanks Kristen Kristen yeah that's a good idea let me wiggle it again hold on M uh, hammer it again Myra says if you hammer the bench again everything will fall into place Thank you, Myra. Yeah, there you go. Nice. You guys are the best. Talk about an interactive show here, guys. Look at this. I love you guys. I love doing this. You guys are like the best. I really enjoy this. <laughs> okay, so give me the glue, Yarrow. Let's do this. I will whack it a little bit more one more time with some of my fine dust. So let's put my glasses on so I can see what's happening here. <laughs> Why? They're dirty? I don't know. Yara says they're dirty. Yara always is after cleaning my cell phone case, cleaning my glasses. And you know what's a great way to clean your cell phone, you guys? It's just sim so we put our alcohol, um, you know, just the regular alcohol in a spray bottle. So even before COVID and whatever, you know, we're all germaphobes around here. Just so you know, Jolto gets wiped down. We've got alcohol spray bottles everywhere. So all you have to do, honestly, when it comes to cleaning your iPhone, you guys, spray like spray like the pipe the paper towel with the alcohol and give it a wipe. It leaves no streak on it. Yeah, or yes, actually we do use the microfiber cloth, which is excellent because it doesn't leave any kind of um, residue behind or any kind of dust. But the alcohol doesn't leave any kind of, like the sa uh, sanitizer and those stupid wipes and stuff, they leave streaks. Alcohol dries just beautifully and everything gets um, clean. So I even clean my pop socket. You guys see that? Who has a jewel tool pop socket, by the way? So I clean the pop socket, I put it down, I clean the edges of the pop socket, it withstands everything. So yeah, I actually use this. We use the microfiber, the 3M cloth to clean it. It's just lovely. We all, we, yeah, it's on our website. It's on our website. So it's awesome. Okay, so there. Oh, and they're really good at cleaning your glasses. They're, they're excellent for, they're basically, they call them, they market them as the electronics cloth. See how it says for electronics? But there's a cell phone there. Wow, that's an old cell phone. Get with it, 3M. Fudge. Okay, so give me the glue. Okay, so you're going to, as I'm doing this, Yara, you got to start mixing the, so zoom in. Okay, so this is basically, you guys, just real quick drops. I'm not going to saturate it. Maybe like three drops maximum through the whole thing. You got centered? Okay, ready. So maybe like three drops. So like I'll do one at the top. See how it's seeped in right there? Go, baby. Go, 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 go. And we'll do one here in the center. Just glue this sucker. I know, Myra, I'm just like you. I That's why the jewel tool came to life. I'm so impatient. And then here, this one right here. And that shit. Ooh, that one took a flip. Why'd you flip? You want to flip? Okay, fine. You sit there. It's where you want to be? Fine. You be there. Let me get that really tight little spot too. Kind of feed it in. And it's cool. It, but so you see how it didn't affect any of the top part? So I don't have to worry about grinding the crazy glue down. I think we're good. Just get this corner right here. Who's special? Mingo is very special. Okay, so that's that. Now, Yaro's mixing the epoxy. Maybe I can use this at the same token. Oh, yeah, Yaro loves this Loctite super glue, by the way. Like, loves it. It does have a. Oh, Yaro says he actually likes Starbond, but that's all we had. That's second choice. So Star Bond is better. 
so while it's drying so this is not a really quick crazy glue I just want you to know it has a little gooeyness to it this one right Yara would you say that it's very jelly it's very jelly so that's how that's why it's still like loosey-goosey at the top oh yeah it's still loose yep come on give it to me give it to me baby Okay. Okay. Looks pretty good, huh? I think that looks even pretty the way it is. How pretty is that? Oh, <gasps> you know how pretty this would look, you guys. If, like, you see how it's like s like a little snowflake, and it would like let's say if we had done like the copper shiny copper in it, and we put like a resin bubble over it. Oh, <gasps> how pretty would that look? Because it is pretty, Yara. When you zoomed in, it was like tiny tiny little ones it was pretty yeah so do you guys see that I mean I could have made it prettier had I known like resin was gonna be on it but you know what I'm talking about so I'll do a resin um, video and we'll try this with resin too because that way I can show you guys how you can shape and polish resin because resin is just like Nicole Richie said, you can't go back. Once you put the resin, it's a one-time deal. But here, like let's say that we ground it down and we didn't kind of like what was happening. Like we are saying, hmm, there's still some empty gaps. Like Nicole and other people have said, they actually grind and then if there's still some areas that are not completely filled, they'll go back and fill it. Um, I honestly couldn't figure out what we could have filled with this sucker like there was no gaps it was just porous but that was from the crazy glue I don't know it's a mystery but we're having fun oh I smell the epoxy <laughs> gross yeah I was mixing it yeah I swear if this dries on me I'm gonna cry I'm getting ready ready said go it's epoxy time what's this oh crap Yarrow. Here, this is what I do. Should I do a burr? No, I'm just going to grab this. We have no time. I saw how fast it dried last time. Okay. Oh, Yaro says, last time I used the one minute. This time I'm using the five minute. I learned my lesson. So don't get the one minute, you guys. Don't. I repeat, do not do such. And it's kind of good, too, because in a weird way, you guys, the crazy glue... Even though it's not completely dry, the crazy glue, it holds the, the loosey-goosey ones down from flying up. So it's kind of, it's a little helpful little hand. I'm going to turn you around. Sorry if I came off thing. Can I, do I have time to flip it around? Okay. So I'm trying to whack it in a little bit more. Smother, Smother it in. Kind of get it in. I want to get it in every hole, nook and cranny. We're not, we're not falling for that those little games that that other one did. So yeah, yeah. So don't worry about getting it on the metal. Okay, big deal. I can wipe it off right now. No big deal. But do you see how not much is transferring off because that c super glue kind of anchored it in, made my life so much easier. And so I'm just doing this to kind of get rid of any kind of like air pockets you guys see that as much as I can and then I'll smother it one more time yeah so Lisa Jacober said to fill in with the dust I'm gonna try the dust one more time I just wanted to pound it you guys kind of get some of the air pockets out I'll try to fill in with some more dust right now why not yes it's JB Weld Suni it's kind of go back and do some more so I'm gonna pound it a little bit more because I have five minutes to do this guys five minutes, less five minutes. now less than five minutes Yara says okay I'm moving a minute and a half left he says okay we're good I think we're good you guys let me just clean it up because we're gonna grind a lot of this down On Monday. I think I'm good. Yarrow, you think I'm good? 
looks beautiful. So let me clean it up so that if I take a after shot, people don't go, what the fudge is that? You like my, there. I mean, you didn't have to pile up this much, but we want to err on the side of caution. Do you know what I mean, guys? So I'm not going to play around with it anymore as I see it getting drier. So we're going to leave it. Why are you laughing at what I'm saying? Yes, I'm with you, negotiator. Negotiator says, if you're worried about germs, worry about putting alcohol internally <laughs> first. Yeah, there you go. There, no harm, no fall. No tweezers were harmed in this. So, oh, by the way, negotiator, someone told me what Andrew Berry said. So remember you guys, Andrew Berry, uh, negotiator and Wendy Shaw told me like two days ago that Andrew Berry um, gave you a shout out in a very positive way on one of his live shows. Well, apparently my little informants out there watch it as well. And so they told me that it was um, someone had asked a question about uh, inlaying uh, stone in metal and he said that he doesn't have like if you got harder stones like agates and whatnot um, to accomplish that you know you you could do that if you have a jewel tool that's all he said I said nicer things about him so you know <laughs> he could have said I was nice he could have said you know that Ani I've met that Ani she's very lovely <laughs> But but I guess not everyone is like me. Anyways. Yes. Yes. So Lisa Pavelka does have that uh, magic gloss. Bye, Alida. Thank you for your help. My daughter's leaving. Say bye, Alida. The one that graduated from UCLA. You see, that's what happens. They graduate from UCLA and they work at Jewel Tool. Um. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? The magic gloss from Lisa Pavelka with the UV light. I know exactly what that is. Lisa Pavelka actually gave me her little UV light. I just don't know if I have any of that magic gloss, but I can call her. I can text her right now and ask her. <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> let's get Lisa on the phone. Um, uh, but yeah, that would be fine too. Uh, either way, actually, I have Lisa's magic gloss. Wait one second. It's right here. I just looked at it. I do. She gave it to me. Hold on. I swear it's in that v that one triangle. Hold on, guys. Let me hold on. Yeah, well, you know what. Hold on, guys. I want to show it to you guys while it dries. And there's something else I want to show you guys, too. I'm going to do the drawing. <gasps> what happened to it? You know what I'm talking about, Yarrow? It's like it's not resin. It's her. No, no, no. I need to show it. Give me one second. Yarrow's saying stop looking for it. The answer is no. I will look for it and find it right now. It's in my metal clay collection. God bless it. We organized. I just saw it. I'm going to... Oh, I know where it is. It's over there. Yaro, can you... Okay, wait. I'm going to be right back. Give me one second, guys. Oh, wait. I can't. There's so many wires around here. I'm like blocked. You don't know where it is. It's the. It's in the triangle. I have to show... Here it is. Uh-huh. This is it. This is it. I have many different ones. Okay, I'm going back. This is her magic gloss, you guys. She gave this to me. This is the Lisa Pavelka's magic gloss. You guys look. Yeah, hold it. Hello. I'm back, everybody. Hello. Oh, crap. Oh, my God, I thought that was the ring. It's okay. It's glued. So this is the magic gloss, you guys. Do you guys see it? So it is kind of like a resin, but her magic... No, I'm not showing. This is made with her magic gloss. So this is her magic gloss. Well, obviously it's not liquid, Yarrow. Oh my! Did you guys? Did, are you guys confused when I said that this is a magic gloss? Did you guys really think that this is a liquid? No, Yarrow. This is a pendant she made with her magic gloss. What I like about it, you guys, it's really hard. So when I was, uh, she would show me like if it got scratched or whatever, she'd bring it over to me and ask me to polish it because she knew she could polish it because she has jewel tools. Um, and so I liked that it was hard. 
So maybe it does harden underneath that UV light, but it's good stuff. I'll tell you that right now. You can even hear it. Look at that. It's hard. And I always test resin, you guys. Look, I always test resin. I like stick my nail really hard in it to see if anything, like if I can create a tiny, tiny little imprint. Sometimes I can on some resins. Yes, I can. So anyway, so that's that. So you guys, I am going to let this cure. Okay. Well, and guess what else I'm going to do? I will stand up for this. Dun, 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 dun. It is the moment of truth. We are going to pull the winner. Ooh, there's a lot of people today. Look at that. They're all in there. Oh, y you have to leave the crown up there. Remember, more is more and less is boring. Well, a bore. A bore. I love that, Bonnie. Bonnie, you have so many cute things you say. So I am going to make sure. I feel like I'm like mixing like a bowl. I make sure I get the corners. <laughs> it's so funny. So here it goes, you guys. I'm closing. I got it. Dude, it's like jumping out of my hand. Let's see who the winner is. <gasps> and the winner is... Kathy Dalton. Congratulations, Kathy Dalton. You are our winner of our set of three magic buffs. Congratulations. The mini magic buffs. Well, the ones that are here, obviously. You can use these as a little flower. <laughs> Anyways, these are really cute. We use these. We actually use that when we were doing the inside of this bezel when we were cleaning with solder. Oh, everyone kept asking me, how did you clean the inside um, where the shank meets the bezel? You know how you have that solder joint? Everyone kept asking, who do not have a jewel tool, mind you. They were asking how I polished in that area without creating a groove. And I said, watch the video. Yeah, watch the video. Yeah, congrats, uh, Kathy Dalton. Okay, you guys. So I will see you guys here back on Monday. And you guys, don't forget, I have the Father's Day uh, sale going on. We have a lot of goodies on sale. So all of that is on sale. <coughs> Ugh. If anything, protect yourself from this glue fumes. Puh. Oh, it smells. Oh, it's Kathy's birthday? She says, well, thank you. Great birthday present. Well, Kathy, happy birthday to you. And may you have a happy and healthy year to come and many, many more years to come. And whoever else's birthday it is, I wish you a very happy birthday. And you guys, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys here on Monday. And I'll see you guys on Facebook and on Instagram. You know where to find me. And um, and yes, the Father's Day sale is going on now. It is. So you guys really, if there's something that you've been having your eye on, so we've got free shipping over 149 pretty much a lot of my uh, add-on kits on sale. We have some new products coming your way. You guys keep asking. I mentioned about the extra, extra course flex assignment. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm working on all of that, you guys. That's why I have to talk to people and hound them and make sure I get my product. It's a it's a battle, you guys. So the ring. Okay, so this is the ring, you guys. Look at it. Oh, it looks beautiful. Look at that gorgeousness, you guys. It looks. To be honest with you, it looks a little better than the one we did before. This was just a big thing. But look, even when we really had no rhyme or reason and we just put something together, it actually came out quite lovely. People were giving me compliments like left and right you guys on so you never know so you'll never know until you try so if you are thinking about doing inlays just crush some stones get some glue and pound it you know i this time i was planning a little bit more than i did on this only because i kind of had a you know i was seeing a little further into the future of what's going to happen so who knows you guys 
who knows that maybe the planning of it was even is not even going to come out as good as the one that you didn't plan. So we'll find out on Monday. Like a Cracker Jack box, never know which one you're going to get. So you guys, uh, I hope you guys had fun. And I've had so much fun this week. And I have another lineup of cool stuff coming up for you guys next week. So many great ideas. And I'll be getting some Durston products in you guys so I can show you how my take on some of those items like the rolling mills, the flush cutter, I mean the flush cutter, no, the disc cutters, the guillotine, the bench. Yeah, I'm going to get all sorts of good stuff. So Matt Durston's a really nice guy, just so you guys know. So yeah. So yes, don't forget, you guys, find me on Instagram. If you want to watch some crazy stories, watch that. That's quite interesting. My Instagram um, has a different group of followers. So I feel a little bit fun and fancy free on <laughs> Instagram for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's all in my head. But I always warn everybody, if you follow me, Yar, okay, so, oh, Nicole Ritchie, you're asking if this, so Yarrow is actually, once he closes this, he's going to put this up on the website. So what should they search for to find it? Does anything vacuum? Uh, vacuum Yarrow says type in vacuum grill. screen grill gray, I don't know what, hat, <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, it'll have a bunch of keywords associated to it. But yeah, it's really handy to have around. I, I, I I'll tell you that. He's been wanting to push this for so long. And I'm like, we'll introduce it in a little bit. We'll introduce it. And so yesterday when Myra said her pearl flew in, um, she had that big Tahitian. Was it Tahitian pearl? It was some other pearl. I can't remember. But I said, you know what? OK, fine. It's fine. People could use it. Oh, Margaret, thank you. Margaret said, happy Father's Day to Yarrow. He giggled. So thank you so much. Yes, happy Father's Day to y'all. Take care of the daddies out there. Um, we wouldn't have kids without them. <laughs> you love how I wouldn't be a jeweler without one. How about that? So my dad um, is... Uh, I used to hang out with him a lot as a kid. So my dad uh, is a pretty cool dude. And he, uh, I'll be seeing him. Yeah, one of these days I'll have him on the show. He, oh, just so you know, you guys, he's a charmer. And if he knows ladies are watching, mm, he loves the ladies. He's Mr. Flirt. So, uh, yeah, all the ladies used to love him at his jewelry store. So, you guys, I wish you a great weekend, and thank you so much, and can't wait to see what this sucker's going to look like, huh? All right, guys, have a good one. Love you all. Mwah. See you soon.